In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create physical physical products in PayHip. So if you are new to PayHip, maybe been using PayHip, we're going to learn how to create physical products in our digital product store. All right. So welcome to my channel. I'm Charbita Deloach. I'm a content strategist and author, and I teach established women coaches how to create digital assets with ease. So if you want to learn more about me, go ahead and go to charbitadeloach.com. You can like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I talk all things digital asset creation and again we do this with ease so we use plr which is called private label rights and i also teach coaches how to take the content they already have so they repurpose the content they already have in a google drive and we create some digital assets okay so let's go into the church announcements first before we get into today's tutorial so i have a free mini training where i'm showing you the mistakes okay i don't want you to make these mistakes when it comes to your digital assets creation so i'm showing you these 10 mistakes that i don't want you to make so i have a link in the description to view this free mini training it's about less than 10 minutes long long but you get free access so go to sharpreadedeloach.com forward slash 10 mistakes okay now the sponsor for this video is i'm super excited to launch my ebook series called the savvy simple coaching ebook series where I'm showing you how to start and grow your profitable coaching business. But I'm showing you through my mini book series. So each book tackles a problem that coach that i have known for years that coaches even new and inspiring coaches have and i want to help you to solve those problems okay one um one of the books that's already launched i talk about of course writing books and how to turn your expertise into books another one is about pricing so how to really charge um, not your worth, but what's your value, what you bring to the marketplace when it comes to coaching. So I'm collided all of my years of coaching and publishing and being in the entrepreneur space. And I'm putting these in a small bite mini book series because I know you don't have a lot of time. So you can sit and read this book in an hour like in one like one hour okay so we have two books books are launched already go to shareadedeloach.com forward slash amazon follow me on hit the follow button on my amazon author page because every time i upload a new ebook you can go and grab it and plus you get a notification right to your email okay so let's get into today's tutorial all right so we're talking about uh, uploading physical uh, products inside of PayHip. If you are new to PayHip, PayHip is a digital product or it's a physical product that we're going to use today. This is a store that you can upload these products in. So you can use PayHip to upload. Let's see if I can go to the, so I can give you a, like a, like a tutorial type of thing, okay? So you can upload a physical products, you can upload digital products, and you can upload um you can up you can do courses in here you have coaching sessions in here so you can make this like a a store so this is a digital store that you can make in your business. The great thing I love about PayHip and we're going to you know as I go through this today is it's free. You can use it for free. Now the thing about using PayHip for free is that they take a certain percentage off of your, your payment, okay? So I think it's like 2%, but they do have some other plans that you can use as well, okay? So you can pay monthly, and that way you can, uh, I think one of them, you can have no money taken off, okay? <laughs> you have no money, all right? So the physical product that I already started in here, I'm just going to go through a little tutorial here is a notebook. So a part of my ebook series that I put inside of the ebook is that you can get a savvy, simple coaching notebook. All right. So I have four different options. You can get a notebook for free. All you have to do is pay for the shipping. And I'm charging, I mean, shipping and handling is $7.99. So basically you're, you're paying just $7.99 for it, but it includes all that shipping. Okay. Now, um, the reason why I'm doing that, because I want my readers to have something compatible to go along with the book. And um, you're going to want to take a lot of notes <laughs> when it comes to these um, ebook series as well. So first thing I did was I went over over here to Your Sheet Geek. OK, I love Your Sheet Geek. I love this um, 
this website here. Um, uh, Kim, she is amazing and she makes great products. So she already had the covers made already for me. So I already purchased the covers. And let me see if I can show you guys the covers. She got planner cover templates. I mean, if you want to upload your own, you know, digital assets such as journals and workbooks, I don't think she, I don't I didn't see if she had work, but she has planners, notebooks, because I use the composition notebook. It might be this one. Let me click on it because right here you, you get 15 of them for only $9.97, right? So I'll link her store in the description so you guys can take a look. Uh, but I think I use this packet here. It look, yeah, I did because this one right here, yeah, this is the packet here that I purchased. So all I had to do was um download it, purchase it, download it, and then I put it over here in Canva, right? So you just click on the link and it automatically goes to Canva. So make sure that you have a Canva account. So these are what some of the notebooks look like here. These are composition notebooks. All I have to do is just download them and I can upload them as a cover. Down for my Savvy Simple Coach, I just added the word Savvy Simple Coaching, and so I have different options here. Um, what I this this one right here came with this packet, but then I made a copy and then I just changed the color. So I got this one. I have I put this one in here. This green, this pink, this blue right here. And then this one right here. Okay, so I have four different options. Also, as well, I got from Kim too, is the inside, the line paper. So she sells that as well. So the um, composition notebook paper, you can just uh, get it from here too. I'm going to see if I can show you. The interior, that's for journals, journals, journals. I know I got it from here. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it here so you guys can see. I don't see it here, but I know I got it from here. I might've got it in that kit. There's a kit that she has here. Um, and I think it's, I, I think I did get it from here. Um, so it, it had to be from here because I don't see it nowhere else here. So <clears throat> if you want to, you know, create low content books, then she has a kit right here. So it's $34.99. And it comes with the it comes with some covers here. So she, this one has 35 plus covers and the interior. So I got that all from here. Okay. And what I <clears throat> what I do is I in order to get it printed, there's many different options to get, get these notebooks printed. I chose to use Lulu because it's just easier for me to use. And with Lulu, all I have to do is just upload it. So I have to finish uploading the rest. And all I have to do is just upload it here. And I, and when someone place an order, I can just print here. Okay. Now I'm not going to do it like that. I'm not going to print on demand like that. So as soon as I get all four of them uploaded, I'm going to go ahead and order some so I can have here in the office. So when, when people start placing their orders, I can just go ahead and ship them out. But then I also want to order them because I want to show you guys when I do another video what they look like. Okay. So I love Lulu for printing because I don't have to publish it anywhere. I can just use this as a printer. All right. So if you want a place to just print your books, you can use Lulu or you can also try the book patch as well. Okay. I, I simply, I like them both, um, but I like Lulu. The reason why I didn't use Amazon KDP to print is because in order for you to print with Amazon KDP, as they should, you have to publish it. I don't want to publish these. These are not an item that I want to sell on Amazon KDP. All right. That's not the strategy as of right now, maybe later on. Um, but I want to see how they do first before I go into the hassle of publish them on Amazon KDP. Okay. I may do that later on, but right now I'm going to just publish them here on on Lulu, the print cost is $5.48, which is not bad. I just needed enough to cover that shipping, okay? And plus the handling, you got to get the envelopes and all that stuff. So I priced it just about right, okay? I, my goal is not to make a lot of money with this. It's just to add value to my ebook series, okay? So you got Lulu and you got the Sheet Geek. Get your stuff upload you got a printer now let's go back over here to pay help okay so pay help of course you add your title now i have my mock-ups so i have my mock-ups that um done by um, a company called mock-up shots so that's a website you could just upload the cover and they make a whole bunch of 
uh, mock-ups for you. So I just put one mock-up per notebook so that you have that there, okay? So you can upload those there. You have to put your description. So I just put a short description. Now here's where it got a little tricky because I have different variations. So you can click, let me cancel that. I don't want to remove anything. <laughs> so you have to click you'll be able to click here when it says you know this product has different variations especially if you're going to sell like t-shirts if you're going to sell you know your you sell your books here but if you have different colors you want to put that here okay so they give you an option to add your variation i just added an image so i managed i managed it here and i added an image so i got green now i priced mine at zero because remember i said mine is uh, free the shipping is automatically in my settings so you will have to you know add your shipping and i can show you guys that as well so i added here my pricing is zero i made up a skew number okay i put 99901 0204 um, I weighed about 90, 90 pounds and I just looked up Google. I said, ask Google, you know, what is the average size of a notebook? So I just, I did that according to what Google said. Okay. You do have an opportunity to track your inventory. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so I don't have to, you know, display that, but you have to make sure that you make it visible. All right. Or you can make it invisible or you can have it unleashed, unlisted. Unlisted is just like, you know, on YouTube where only people know the direct link to the product they can they can see that they the only people if you don't want it to show up in your shop maybe you have a special item for clients or something you can unlist that here okay um you can put if you want this product to be tax exempt you can automatically subscribe your customers to a mailing list so you can attach your email service provider to pay him. the ones that i know for a fact that they use is mailchimp if you use that, if you use MailerLite, if you use ConvertKit, um, there are some other ones there. You have some different options there, but you got to make sure you have your, I think it's your API key from your email service provider to have that part set up. And what it does is because I have MailChimp, it automatically, um, you know, puts the list that you have in your MailChimp, okay, or in your, whatever your email service provider is, okay? You don't have to do this, but this is great if you want to, automatically put people on your email list and all you do is just save okay and it's going to ask me um because i have priced it at zero did i want to leave it at zero absolutely i want to leave it at zero okay so let me click on so this is what it's going to look like i don't know why it has that 999 up there um let me edit this it didn't have that earlier okay so we're gonna leave this at zero all right, now we're going to save it. Yes, continue editing. Okay, now let's look at it. Okay, so now it's zero. Okay, so this is what it looks like to the customer. Okay, so they can go through it here. And then you go to proceed to checkout. It should have, it should have get, given me a option let me go back and edit this product because it should have gave me an option where they can click on the different variations. Uh, I think it took it out. Okay, well, no problem. Let's let's go ahead and put that in here. Let's see. Product variation, add variation. So we're going to have the option is going to be, um, I'm going to put savvy, simple, coaching, notebook. Okay, so we're going to add green. Okay, usually it will, let me edit this. Okay, we got, I know we have pink and white. All right, I know that we have blue and pink. We have the green, we have pink and white, we have blue and pink. Okay, I'm gonna have to slip over here, guys. To, so we got, there's the green, we got pink and white. That's pink and white, so pink and black. And then there's the blue and the pink. So pink and um, white. 
no pink and black okay so let's add that okay so now let's manage it now now we're going to manage the combination so i guess it was meant for me to do this for you guys okay so what i'm doing now is with each one you with each color i want to have an image so they can look to see that is there and i know i did this because my pictures are there if your pictures are not there you have an option to upload it okay make sure it's on your computer so here's the pink and white and then we have the blue and pink which is here and then we have the pink and black which is right here there we go so we have all of those there and this is where you can add your price i have zero because it, like i said it's free so 99901 99902 now i'm just making up these numbers you can have your own if you know you're going to be selling a lot of digital products of course you want to find some way to make sure that you keep this up okay so again i got the size i just googled um let's see how how much does a notebook way so i just went right here where it says that's a it's not leather some kind of they got this is a pocket one i i went by the spiral because it's it's just about like the spiral so 0 0.9 so i just guesstimate if you don't know it you know you want to have something okay 0 0.9 0 0.9 0 0.9 0 0.9 and then we're going to apply those changes all right so we already went through this part and now let's save it yes i want to continue all right now let's look at it and make sure that it's right this time um let's see let's remove okay there we go okay so it's, it will look like this so it gives you the option they have green so click, let's click on a pink and white. There's the green, pink and white, blue and pink, and then pink and black. So they can add whichever one they want to the cart. So let's do pink and black. We're going to add one to the cart. There we go. So see right there is $7.99. That's all I want to charge is just $7.99. Okay. So that's how you upload it there. Now, how how do I, you know, calculate my shipping? Now, for me, I ought to I, you go to your accounts and go to setting because I already know all I'm selling is these notebooks. I have no plans right now. And you go to shipping. I have no plans right now to add any other items. That's just right now. Uh, but right now I have that. So I have my address here and then I'm just shipping to United States. So you have to add a United States shipping rate. You have the option to do a flat rate. That's what I did because I know I just want to try $7.99. Remember, I want to make sure that I cover the cost of how much it costs to print the notebook and and you know make sure it's shipping if you're doing free shipping you can put that if you're going to do order by weight you can do that um you can do um shipping rate based on the order total so you you get to call the shots for that okay how you think you should do this is totally up to you and it also depends on what you are selling okay if now you're selling your books of course that's going to be a little bit different then you selling other things okay so that's going to look a lot different again you want to make sure you have somewhere to print i use lulu or you can try the book patch but you want to have somewhere where you're going to print these notebooks okay now that is all for this youtube channel i'm going to link it in the description make sure we have the sheet geek where you can go and get you know your notebook covers you get notebooks journals and planners that's the that's what's in her store i'll link her store below so you can have access to that also to lulu the book patch and all the all the goodies that we talked about on today's video okay so that's my quick tutorial on how to upload a a product a physical product to pay hip if you have any questions please put them below and i look forward to serving you in the next upcoming training talk soon